death of a Quebec woman on a BC ski trip. CTV News with Tara Schwartz and Paul Karwatsky. Good evening. Autopsy results have confirmed that Marie-José Fortin died of hypothermia. The 44-year-old LaSalle woman and her husband got lost while on a ski trip to British Columbia. Fortin's husband, Gilles Blackburn, survived. He was rescued after nine days. Caroline Van Vlardigan is following the story for us. Caroline, Gilles Blackburn is still not back in Quebec. That's right, Tara. There was some speculation that he would be arriving back in Quebec this weekend, but now it seems that may not happen until the end of next week. Meantime, his parents have spoken out, and they said that the RCMP rescue operation was botched. We spoke to experts today who said that her death was like the result of a perfect storm of bad decisions all around. Claude Frejo is the commander for Quebec Secoule, a volunteer search and rescue service. He says the average person can live for three minutes without oxygen, three days without water, and 30 days without food. So even though the couple had little food with them, he's not surprised Marie-José Fortin died of hypothermia. She could have survived only without food. A small basic survival kit of a lighter or matches, a compass, a whistle, and a reflective blanket may have helped change the outcome. It doesn't take too much place. It's so small you could put them in your pocket. An entirely preventable type of death. That's what's so horrible about this. This emergency medicine doctor says hypothermia sets in at different times according to each person and their circumstances. It really depends on how good your energy stores are, how much you're exerting yourself, uh, how protected you are. Fortin died of hypothermia after nine days on a mountainside. Her husband reportedly built a small enclosure for them to huddle inside and took the baskets off their ski poles to protect them from wolves. At Shulman believes... No one should die under those circumstances of hypothermia. Back at Quebec Secours, Frejot says a simple note left on the dashboard of their car or a small portable satellite tracking device would have helped a rescue happen earlier. The devices can even be rented by the day. A new type of personal locator are super size. The satellite would receive and transmit back your exact position. And he shows us a basic publication put out by the RCMP that teaches children what to do if they're ever lost outdoors. In it, a clear picture of exactly what Blackburn did. When people assist, the program tells children to remain calm, stay put, and write down the SOS sign. So I guess people should know these things, especially the RCMP. Caroline Van Vlardigan, CTV News.